Hello guys, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. I'm going to use the traditional Reader Way tarot deck that is the radiant version of it. <clears throat> and now, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Gemini Star Sign. And uh, for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way with uh, the different Gemini subjects or individuals. So, for that reason, uh, in this uh, video, you know, I will try to do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy. But it's uh, <clears throat> basically, you will have to align that reading with your personal situation for maximum accuracy. Now, if you want the reading on a more personal level, or um, your situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards. Uh, that is a, a subject of a personal reading and for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there uh, you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And don't forget that till the end of February, all of the services have massive, massive reduction on uh, pricing so I can make myself more accessible to the people that are truly in need and more, more specifically into a financial need. So that being said, going to the spread directly, the first card for you, Gemini's, which defines the topic of your week, that is going to be the Seven of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, or shortly said, what you should not do regarding the topic here. That is going to be the Queen of uh, Wands, followed by the third card, which is a, about the positive approach toward the situation, or in this case, what you should do regarding the topic. That is to be the King of uh, Cups. And the last one, uh, which is, oh wow, look at that. I mean, the last one, which is the positive outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance that Taro is offering to you, uh, we have the Lover's card. So, uh, once again, that will be the Seven of Swords, followed by the Queen of Wands. Third one, this is going to be the King of Cups. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Lovers. Lovely. All right. So, um, I'm going to put the cards now on my desk here. And uh, we're going to go deeper into every single one of it, uh, of the cards. And in addition, I'm going to draw an additional card per position. But just all in all, um, the overview here is that uh, th there will be settling the scores uh, from your behalf. Settling the scores either into situation, but it's going to um, involve as well uh, a people that are misusing you in any way or they're just utilizing on your skills and uh, on your let's say good attitude without actually doing anything in return and therefore this week uh, for you is going to be a wake-up call in the sense of that you know you're not really obliged to be the the helping hand or the martyr the martyr of the situation okay and that simply you can say no i i will stop do that because it's not in my best interest funny uh we had similar situations with aries and tauruses as these are only the only videos done by now so i'm doing that so it's kind of like a, that that week is going to be a big week for at least three of you star signs that's uh it's kind of things are taking on a turn here and uh, you start doing something for yourself instead of something for those who are ungrateful. But the first card, this is the Seven of Swords. So topic wise, the card means that you need to show strong backbone. You need to show that you do have a strong spine and that you can withstand in your position. All right. It shows that you need to... Um, demand and the word truly is demand for what you have been owned in a sense of demand for respect demand for appropriate attitude demand for the money that you have loaned into someone 
demand for your thing and in your case throughout this week you will have to storm that situation basically people aren't gonna give what you have been owned or the situation itself as well it's not gonna be favorable to give you what you have been owned if you keep a silent treatment and if you are milder to it kind of like if you do have a person who owns you money and you need those money saying them that they need to that they if they can they can give it to you you know get back your money and they could say oh i am in a very tough spot right now i cannot do it and so on and so forth and you say oh, okay don't worry and so on and so forth so no milder standpoint you have to truly like i said demand the things that have been owed to you to be returned or to be given for that for that matter now the seven of swords it does regards of uh, following a certain goal and certain agenda and the appearance of that card it points to detachment here detachment where you're going to stop following foreign alien agendas and goals very favorable card for one business intentions in the sense of that let's say you are a, a very good asset into a company doing business realizing that their business is good because of you and that puts you into a position to either demand promotion or raising salary or detachment from the company and establishing your own personal business what we're talking about here gemini's is that this week is gonna be a week where you're gonna slam your fist full on the table and simply do things which are favorable for you rather than favorable for everybody else but you the next card that we do have that is the hangman and what we do have as a combo here are active neutrals so uh, what these cards are pointing that should you have a strong spine strong backbone you stand for your personal rights because this is what it's all about standing for your personal rights then you're gonna stir the majority of the situations not to mention all of the situations especially those which until this very moment all of your efforts in there were proven to be futile okay for one or another reason simply you are to realize that you do have a dead weight on you and you have to kind of cut that dead weight in one way or another <clears throat> or you have a means that you are not capitalizing on because you have willingly given those those means someone else to utilize instead of you and this time around the time comes where you see things differently now you kind of take that different perspective in your mind and uh, basically take what you can or everything that belongs to you in a sense of money love and so on and so forth and establish this new agenda of yours this new path of yours if i may express it um that way and so going to the second card which is how you should not approach the situation queen of wands so what the queen of wands is it's a, a very confident person in general so overconfidence is a thing that you should not um that you should not incorporate here and overconfidence i mean uh Confident to an extent where you simply salvage things like if we have to give an, an example here try to uh, Initiate your agenda without taking back what you have been owed All right, for example that loan that I have mentioned if that's your case saying okay, so don't worry about it give me the money when you know give me back the money when you can and instead of having the support of those money trying whatever you are after without those money well that is not gonna serve you well or at least you will struggle struggle more than you than you have to also the queen of wands appearing here means that you gotta take the matters very very seriously this ain't walk in the park here what we're talking is <clears throat> like I said establishing your personal fulcrum and moving towards it 
which means that you will have to abandon some sort of another fulcrum or agenda that I have mentioned before. It's rather alien, okay? And uh, you need to approach the matter with the full seriousness as possible and uh, settle, as I said, the score here. Now, with the Queen of Wands, uh, that, that is a very sensitive woman to an extent of uh, the weaknesses of others in general, okay? So you should not be sensitive for the weaknesses of others. At the end of the day, everybody goes with their faith, all right? And uh, as you do have your own faith, uh, you got to move forward with it. What I'm trying to say here is it's just because someone is in a bad spot, it doesn't mean that you have to contribute for their good fortune if you don't have extra resources, that is, all right? So just because that person says that they are in financial struggle right now, that should not be what I'm, this is what I'm trying to say, that that should not be a, a prerequisite for them not returning back your money. I mean, as they took a loan from you, they can do that as well from someone else so they can return you your money, all right? Don't, I'm sorry that I'm saying that because I know that many people of you are not going to take it well, but you should not commiserate on the misfortune of others and you should not feel pity for them because you got to think from a different perspective here that if they are finding themselves into that state, it's not because they haven't contributed into it, you know, everybody from us, uh, if we are experiencing bad fortune, to one or another extent, we contribute into it. And the accompanied card of it, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles here, which uh, forms another active neutrals that we can see. And uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the, you should not seek any other way around it. I mean, like extensions in these kind of, uh, extensions in these kind of stuff. Basically, you do have what, there is only one way how you need to do things and that is as I said by storming the situation being or trying to make a compromise with your approach once again ain't gonna end up very well and uh, this also touches on the not exactly the self-confidence but self-absorption -absor as well right which again touches the subject of uh, adopting different perspective upon the matter either what my point here with these couple of cards guys is to know that you already see what needs to be done and it may not be pleasant at least not at the start but it has to be done and making compromises and trying to reach an, an extension of it or waiting for a better moment to come around it's not something you want to do I mean as soon as you see your way out of that situation and to basically take back what you possessed back in the past should be seized either into one career or either into one relationship because these cards could refer to that you have been uh, mistreated into one relationship you are not given the right uh, the the deserved respect in there and the deserved attitude and so on and so forth and being milder about the situation is not something you want like i said you gotta storm it and there is no compromise involved here you either have you either going to get the right attitude or this relationship ain't gonna be any longer okay so this is how decisive you gotta be and the what was the word here the excuse of a part or of the, of the behalf of your partner that they are in a rough sport career-wise or something like this should not be on any excuse at all. I mean, that's, that's not your problem. And uh, they should know better than bringing their problems from work into the relationship itself. That is just an example once again. So, uh, yeah, basically you should not take any excuses under consideration throughout the week from the people that own you or owe you excuse me they they do owe you and now you have to collect the debt so, so the time has came for payback 
and like I said, you have to be decisive and strong enough to get your payback or to get paid back. All right, so next one, that is going to be the King of Cups. So this is the right approach toward the situation. A very balanced approach is what is required here uh, with the King of uh, with the King of Cups. Balanced once again in a sense that you should not allow your emotions to rule your actions, because like we said back in the previous cards, um, you may be sensitive to the. Um, human's weaknesses and these weaknesses could be a prerequisite for you to make a, an, an exception a compromise so that's why you gotta be rather balanced and with a high amount of self-righteousness as well not to make those exceptions not to make those compromises here balanced actions are needed and balanced judgment as well which involves that you basically got to do something for yourself at the end of the day so you can feel yourself comfortable. Because the King of Cups, it's not about the emotions to, toward the world. It's about your personal emotions and having them in check and being in harmony with them. All right. So you got to do things in such a way that you are harmonious of those uh, of your emotions because if you're given an extension and you feel bad that you don't have what you need because you did that then that doesn't really cut it is it also the king of uh, cups here points uh, it's kind of like a bit out of the subject but the this card says that you will encounter throughout the week some Good opportunities in general, very tempting offers are going to come uh, at your behalf, which will have something to do with your new fulcrum here, new, your new uh, agenda, most likely career oriented. And uh, you got to take advantage of those uh, of those tempting offers, uh, because these tempting offers are going to also present you with a helping hand. And there is really no need whatsoever to refuse that helping hand. And here I want to make a bit of a clarification. Until now, we talked about uh, the subject where you were helping others, all right? Or you were making compromise with yourself for the sake of the others. And now we're talking that someone new coming around, well, it may not be new to you, but their involvement is going to be new for the situation is offering you a helping hand thing with the king of cups you need to know is that um, they don't do that out of um, out of nowhere or kind of like it is because they see you struggle or any anything they do it because they see that that is the right thing to do they do it because they see that you do have a potential and that by doing so they will also be in check with their uh, with their emotions it, because the king of cups it's a person that um basically acts more logically oriented than emotionally even though it's a cups card i this is the virtue of of the cup of the cups cards where one tames one's emotions completely and this is what you got to do as well the accompanied card that is going to be the Ace of Cups and we definitely are talking about an, a uh, very, very tempting offer and an opportunity given to you by someone that it is around you right now, which are going to make your struggles pretty much irrelevant. I mean, that the, the circumstances on their own that are surrounding this, uh, this offer, which you got to take, I mean, with these cards, you got to take, will allow you to make the very least one of your uh, petite wishes coming true. Also, uh, that, that offer will help you or rather like will make issues that you are going through right now and plights completely, completely irrelevant. Not to mention that is going to transcend as well your reality. But you have to be emotionally balanced in order to be able to uh, evaluate that offer. Because if you are emotionally attached into a poignant experiences of the others, it's, even if you see it, you may not have the attitude to take it. That's tempting offer, that is. 
So uh, you have to decide this balanced judgment needs to be uh, made in your favor. So that is the balance here. Until this, not, until this very moment, you made those judgments for someone else or kind of like you decided in a favor of someone else and now it's time for you to decide for yourself. It's, it's as simple as that. And finally, what we have, should you do all that, this is the lover's card. And the lovers, it does uh, point that you are going to reach a state of harmony, especially with, uh, with people which are surrounding your situation, which probably will be no longer those who took advantage of your resources back in the days. With the lover's card, also you will resolve a lot of your current issues, the issues that you are moving in. Uh, in the week itself not to mention that this card points that you will have a choice to make here which is in your case Gemini's a choice of growth it's important with the lovers card I always repeat that and I will say again that there is no right or wrong decision it is all about your personal preference so as soon as that time for making a severe decision how you should move on forward after you've done all that that I talked about until now will define how your future is gonna go. Usually with the lover's card, uh, the choice is about what you have to do against what you wanna do, and neither of them is really right or wrong. The, um, the example I like to give is a person who is about to take a job, it has a couple of offers. One of the offer, it's well paid, but really annoying job to work. The other offer, it's really exciting job to work, but the payment isn't that great, all right? So again, what you have to do against what you need, what you want to do here, and uh, it does depend. If you have a family to take care of, well, then probably you will have to do what you have to do to get the annoying job, but well paid one. If you are alone and you don't care about much money, you know, well, you can go for what you want to do then. It, it, it is based on personal preference in the situation. Same goes with love as well. And if we're talking about love with this card, then uh, it will signify that at the very least, going through that, you will recognize what you want for yourself from love aspect. And knowing that the next partner of yours or the reshape, the, the reshaping, the transformation of your current partner is just behind the corner. But all comes to that how strong spine you do have to withstand your situations, talking about relationship, and demand for the treatment you deserve. That is all comes to it. And uh, accompanied with it, we do have the Magician card, which is uh, we are forming here uh, active supporters. And basically, uh, with uh, that, that is a bit tough uh, to be interpreted, but here through the harmony that you will have in your daily routines and through resol um, the resolutions of the issues that you are entering in the week with, uh, that will boost your self-confidence and my god what is going on outside and the sense of personal sovereignty which means that you will never allow again from the same angle someone to take advantage of your kindness someone to take advantage of, of your resources moreover the confidence boosted will allow you further to chase your goal that involves this tempting offer of that person coming around here uh, through a, a very, very determined actions, supported with huge convictions. And lastly, what these cards are pointing is that your communication with everybody left around you, and left I mean, because probably through the process here of uh, making all that I said, uh, you will decide to abandon some so-called friends or so-called people that are around you, what is left in there, you will have no problem communicating with and having a common ground with. As a matter of fact, with these cards, guys, you're most likely going to serve as an, an example how things should be done and how when you want something, you got to chase it with all you can and with all you got. So pretty much uh, this week for you, Gemini's, is going to be uh, a very, how can I place it, a very, 
it will differentiate depending on what kind of a person you are and also um, what kind of a situation you are in. But in any case, uh, I will stick to my motto here. The, no matter how much you invest and how much you do to please and to help everybody, there is always someone displeased and there is always someone that is simply not going to be enough for them, all right? So this time around is going to be a good thing if you do these things for yourself first and if it is left something from others, then do it, then, then invest into others. It's time, Gemini, to do something for your own personal part and for your own personal agenda than wasting time and effort into others' agendas and others' goals. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading uh, for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, it was a general reading, so it's going to resonate in a different level and in a different way with every single different Gemini. But if you like the way I read and you want your situation to be uh, analyzed by me through tarot cards, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can go to my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you go for that option, uh, don't forget that by the end of, uh, till, excuse me, the end of February, the whole prices are massively reduced to make myself more accessible for the people in need and especially in a financial one. So that is all from me for now. And uh, I'm signing out now. See you around. Bye.